What's going on guys? Jens Garcia here. Now I'm back with another video. Now I've been away for for quite some time. Actually not really but I've been away for a few days because I've cut my internet and I've been busy as well. So um, that's pretty much what's been going on about me. And other than that I've got some news to you about the new Amazon Kindle HD 8.9 inch tablet. Alright, first of all is the design of the tablet. Over the front, you'll get your um, front-facing camera. You'll also have the on-screen touchpad buttons like the home and recent apps. And on the back of the tablet is you'll have the Kindle logo with the along with the rear speakers on each uh, side. And you'll also have uh, supports like the HDMI. Yes, HDMI, that's a pretty good addition to that as well as your micro USB. Now the display of the tablet is going to be 1920 by 1200 which is going to be perfect for viewing HD movies as well as uh, high resolution pictures. Now the display of the tablet uses some advanced polarizing filter to give you a better contrast, sharper images as well as better brightness on the tablet. Now you should be able to have a less glare as well as what um, Amazon mentioned. Now comparing it to the Nexus 7, I've had trouble uh, using it outside because of the um, glare. I'm getting so much glare on the tablet and if I, and when I use it outside it looks like I'm looking on the mirror so it's a pretty big uh, thing to me and but I know you can also get those screen protectors with anti-glare but it's just um, it's something that I find to be um, that needs to be fixed so um, thanks to Amazon for um, fixing that type of problem all right so it will run with 1.5 dual core OMAP press Alright, the tablet's gonna have a dual antenna Wi-Fi as well. Now it should be able to give you an access to 5.0 gigahertz. Now, if you've got like a dual band router, then obviously you're gonna have, gonna be able to access to that, which should be able to give you a better speed and um, range depending on your um, router that you are using. Now, being said that, it is claimed to be the first tablet to feature a dual band Wi-Fi on the device which is being said to be 41% um, faster than the latest iPad and as well as 54% um, faster than the Nexus 7. That's pretty interesting um, that they said that because we all know that both devices are pretty fast so now it's good to see in real life to um, you know compare whether it really is faster than those two devices. Now the device is also going to run ice cream sandwich, uh, so it's pretty disappointing that they've still got the ice cream sandwich where, where we've now got the Android jelly bean, so, but yeah, hopefully they'll be um, doing an update as soon as it's shipped and yeah, hopefully it will happen as soon as possible because that's what um, people want. Alright, so there are plenty of um, storage variations of this tablet, you can get it for um, 16 and 32 gigabytes for the Wi-Fi version and 32 and 64 gigabytes for the LTE version. That's great that they've added 60, up to 64 gigs of internal memory because it means that you're gonna be able to store more movies and pictures or musics on, music on the device. Now, the price range is gonna be $299 to $599 US dollars. So, um, it's pretty uh, expensive. But as I said, it's a new device and definitely it's definitely gonna go down as the time goes on. So what do you think about this tablet? Are you going to be buying this or are you going to stick with the Nexus 7 which is a great device or are you going to wait for the new iPad mini as the rumor says. Alright, thank you so much for watching guys. I am Jens Garcia and I will see you on the next video. Bye bye.